This is Optimal Living Daily Relationships, Episode 210, 27 Skills Your Child Needs to Know That She's Not Getting in School, Part 2, by Leo Babauta of ZenHabits.net. And I'm Joss Marie, your host and personal narrator, right here on the Relationships Edition of Optimal Living Daily. This is the show where Justin Mullick, Hand selects relationship posts from some of the best relationship blogs in the world. And then, with permission from the authors, I read them to you every Monday through Friday, free of charge. And for those of you who may not know, Justin Mullick is actually not only the creator and producer of this show, but he is also the host of Optimal Living Daily. On that show, Justin covers content regarding personal development, minimalism, zen habits, and more. So if that sounds of interest to you and you'd like to hear even more blog posts being narrated to you for free, simply search for Optimal Living Daily from wherever you're listening to this show or come by oldpodcast.com slash listen. And before we go any further, I just want to point out that today I'll actually be narrating the second part of a two-part miniseries by Leo Babauta. So make sure and listen to yesterday's episode first to hear part one if you haven't already. That's episode 209. But without further ado, let's hear the second part of Leo's post and continue optimizing your life. 27 Skills Your Child Needs to Know That She's Not Getting in School Part 2 by Leo Babauta of ZenHabits.net Success Number 1. Positive Thinking While critical thinking is an important skill, it's also important to have a positive outlook on life. Sure, things may be screwed up, but they can be changed for the better. Find solutions instead of complaints, and most of all, learn to believe in yourself and to block out negative self-thinking. Number 2. Motivation Learn that discipline isn't the key to achieving a goal, but motivation. How to motivate yourself, different strategies, and how great it feels to achieve a goal. Start them with small, easily achievable goals and let them develop this skill. Number three, procrastination. It's a problem we all deal with as adults and even as kids. Now, I believe that there should be a time for goofing off, being lazy, and having fun. But when there's something to do that we really need to do, how do we get ourselves to do it? Learn the reasons behind procrastination and how to address them. How to beat procrastination. Number four, passion. One of the most important ways to be successful is to find something you're passionate about and do that for a living. Your child won't know the answer at a young age, but you should show her how to find her passion and how to pursue it and why that's important. Social Number 1. Anti-competition As kids, we're taught how to be competitive. In the adult world, that's how we behave, and that results in backstabbing, undercutting, feelings of resentment, and other life-affirming things like that. Instead, Teach your child how there is room for many people to be successful and how you're more likely to be successful if you help others to be successful and how they'll help you in return. Learn that making friends and allies is better than making enemies and how to do that. Learn cooperation and teamwork before competition. Number 2. Compassion Not taught in the schools at all. In fact, instead of teaching children how to empathize with others and try to ease their suffering, our schools often teach children to increase the suffering of others. Learn to put yourself in the shoes of others to try to understand them and to help them end their suffering. Number 3. Love Compassion's Twin Brother Love differs only in that instead of wanting to ease the suffering of others, you want their happiness. Both are crucial. Number four, listening. Are our children taught how to listen in school or how to talk at someone? Perhaps that's why many adults don't have this critical skill. Learn how to truly listen to someone 
to understand what they're saying, to empathize. Number five, conversation. Goes hand in hand with listening, but the art of conversation is something that isn't taught in school. In fact, kids are taught that conversation is bad in most cases. But in most cases, a conversation is what is needed, not a lecture. This is an extremely important social skill that should start in the home. Learn to converse with your child instead of talk at him. Practical Number 1. Auto Why cars are needed No, not to look cool How to buy a practical car How to take care of it How the engine works What might break down And how it's fixed Should be taught to both boys and girls that should be obvious, but I had to say it. Number two, household. How to fix things around the house and keep things maintained. Plumbing, electricity, heating and cooling, painting, roofing, lawn, all that good stuff. The tools and skills necessary to do just the basic maintenance and repairs. And how to know when to call a professional. Number three, cleaning. Too many adults grow up without knowing how to do laundry, to clean a house properly, to keep the house clean and uncluttered, to have a weekly and monthly cleaning routine. Teach your child all these things instead of just telling her what to do. Number four, organization. How to keep paperwork organized, how to keep things in their place, to keep a to-do list, how to set routines, how to focus on the important tasks and happiness. Number one, be present. For some reason, this extremely important skill is never taught to us when we're kids. In truth, the younger we are, the more natural this skill is. As we get older, we start thinking about the future and the past, and the present seems to slip away from us. Some skills for living in the present would go a long way. Number two, Enjoy life. Kids don't have much of a problem with this, but some awareness of its importance and how to do it, even as an adult, would be helpful. Set a good example of this and your kids will follow. Number three, find purpose. Whether this is a higher religious purpose or the purpose of making your family happy or the purpose of finding your calling, Having a purpose in life is extremely important. Teach your children the importance of this and show how to do it yourself. Number four, develop intimate relationships. The best way to teach this is to develop an intimate relationship with your child and model it with your spouse or other significant other with inappropriateness. Teach them the skills for developing these types of relationships. Talk about the importance of it and how to get through the bumpy parts as well. There are bad times in every relationship, but with the right skills of communication, empathy, and compromise, they can get through them. You just listened to part two of the post titled, 27 Skills Your Child Needs to Know That She's Not Getting in School by Leo Babauta of zenhabits.net. All I can say is this list is super awesome, and I will definitely be referencing it as a parent to try and help equip Talon with skills that will hopefully enable him to be confident when he goes off on his own someday. So thank you again to Leo for letting us share this post. And again, this is just one of five podcasts in our family. We also have Optimal Living Daily, which, as I mentioned briefly at the beginning of today's episode, covers minimalism and personal development. Optimal Finance Daily, Optimal Health Daily, and Optimal Business Daily. They're all set up similarly to this show with episodes that are typically 10 minutes or less. So if any of them sound of interest to you, you can find them by simply searching for Optimal Living Daily from wherever you're listening to this show or swinging by oldpodcast.com slash listen. And that's a wrap for today's episode. As always, Thank you so, so much for listening and also for checking out our other shows. Have an awesome rest of your day and I hope to see you again next week where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this podcast. 
but also Optimal Living Daily, the show where I read to you from even more blogs covering finance, productivity, minimalism, personal development, and more from incredible bloggers like Derek Sivers, Zen Habits, Mark and Angel, The Minimalists, and all the ones you hear on this show too. So if you enjoyed today's episode and like taking amazing blogs on the go, come on over to Optimal Living Daily and subscribe to that one too. And together, we'll start optimizing your life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.